YouTube, what is going on? I hope everyone is doing well. So if you just picked up Corsair's new H100i Capilex, then you have came to the right place as I'm going to show you how to fully install this step by step on both AMD and Intel systems. So I will make this as super easy as possible. And of course, if I miss anything, ask any questions down below. Do me a favor though, hit subscribe, ding the notification bell, leave a like, join the team, Let's see it. Okay, so the first step is for AMD users. If you are using Intel, then you can skip this. But basically all we have to do if you are using AMD is replace the bracket. To do this is super simple. You just pull the Intel one off and slide the AMD one in. Super easy, just make sure you have it fitted like so. Okay, so now you are going to have to decide where you are putting this in the case, as that will ultimately decide whether you are mounting the fans now or mounting them together with the radiator. If you are putting it on the front of the case like so, then you will need to place the fans in front of the radiator, then use these long screws and washers to secure it down. Just make sure you are screwing into the holes and not the radiator itself, as that can happen, believe me. And obviously if you have a second pair of hands, it will make this a lot easier. If you are going to go ahead and top mount the radiator, then just do a little test fit to make sure there is enough clearance between the ram sticks etc as the worst thing you could do is fit the fans, go to fit this up top and the fans are hitting on your ram sticks. It's a bit of a pain, every case is different so just check. So now go ahead, take your fans and attach them to the radiator using the long screws. Ensure the cables are in the correct position and facing the rear of the case. This will make for easy cable management. I would also double check if the CPU fan connector is accessible when installed. If not, then it would be best to install this first. When you have done that, you attach it to the top of the case with these short screws and of course washers and push your fan cables into the rear of the case. Now for Intel users, we have to install our backplate. As you can see, it has some sticky tape on the rear. This just helps keep it in position while we are installing. Do note that this can be easily adjusted to suit your motherboard type. So now that you have that on, go ahead and install the standoffs. Again, they are clearly labelled and look like this. They just screw in nice and easy. If you have an Intel 2011 to 2066, just use the standoffs and screw them into the bracket already on the board. From there, take the pump head and lower it onto the standoffs, then use the thumb screws to secure it all in place. It's best to start in one corner and move to the next. And when you have the thumb screws hand tight, just give them a little extra tighten with a screwdriver, but definitely don't overdo it as this could potentially break the board. Okay, so now to install this on AM3 or AM4, we first take our screw clips and thumb screws and then put them in place. As you can see, this is how they should sit. Just keep them nice and loose as if you over tighten them at this point it will make installing it a little harder. Now go ahead and place the pump head over the CPU, then use your two clips to catch the brackets on the board like you can see here and simply go ahead and tighten them up nice and evenly, just make sure not to overdo it again. So now that we have done that we can go ahead and grab the commander core from the box and as you can see we have slots for the fans on one side and the RGB is on the other side. So if we go ahead and plug our fans in, it should look something like this. From there, grab the SATA cable and connect it to your power supply. Then take the USB cable and plug it into a USB header on your motherboard. Then we can take the data cable from the pump head that looks like this. Just take note that there are two notches on one side. And if you look at the diagram on the core itself, it shows you that you need to face this upwards. So go ahead, plug it into the bottom of the commander core in this port. Now if you haven't already connected your CPU fan cable, go ahead and connect it to a CPU header on the motherboard. As a little extra bonus, Corsair give you two plates for your pump head and they can be easily changed using the supplied Allen key, so just go ahead, decide what one you like. They both look pretty cool in my opinion, I kind of sway to the more black one, but at least you have two to pick from. So now all that's left to do is download Corsair's IQ software onto your PC and from there, You'll have full control of your fans and RGB settings and you can go ahead make this look however you wish. So that pretty much rounds this up. It's a pretty simple install. I hope this video really helps you and as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe, be kind to each other 
and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. Thanks for being kind. Thank you.